Welcome, uh, Algebra 1 Part A persons. This is the uh, test review for the modified class. That would be my gigantic second period class where we all use highlighters. Um, I'm going to do, I think, six problems today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Apparently not. I'm doing seven problems today. I thought I would put some on here that'll show you every single type of these. So if you have, you need it as a reference, you can go back. At least it gives you something to use, right? So I'm going to increase the first one that I'm going to do. I'm actually going to increase the size of this to a little bit bigger, not much bigger, because I need to rewrite the whole thing anyway. Because it's got the answer choices underneath, which takes up a lot of space. So this one's number three. If you have your um, review paper with you, that's a good thing. So I'm going to rewrite the problem here in all its glory. I'm going to try to use capital letters because my handwriting is not great, especially on the board. So the first step, of course, is to draw the line. And then I need to do baby goes bathroom, so that means do distributive property next. Negative 4 times 3. Then I do negative 4 times 5, which is negative 20a. Almost didn't leave room to bring down my minus 6. Make sure you bring down stuff you don't use. I didn't use any of this stuff <clears throat> in that step. And like I've said a million times, the more you write down, the more likely it is you'll get the problem correct. If you drop A's or uh, move signs around and things, it could be a problem. The next step is, of course, clean your room. So that means combining like terms on the same side of the line. I've got a variable term here, so I'm going to mark it green. Try not to mark it out completely. That means the other two things are non-variable terms or constants or integer terms, whatever you want to call them. So they are like terms. So negative 12 minus 6 gives me negative 18. And I need to bring down negative 20. Hey, I'll bring down everything else over here. Now we're at pork chops and applesauce, so I tend to try to move my um, variable terms. So I'm going to move minus 7a on the right side here. To get rid of minus 7a, I need to add 7a. And I do negative 20 plus 7, which is negative 13. Oops. Sorry, I already done negative 3. I was jumping ahead of myself, and I didn't even hit the button to erase it. There we go. Negative 13. A, bring down minus 18. Bring down negative 31. These cancel. Now here's my A right there, so where it party's over. I need to get rid of minus 18, so I'm going to add it to both sides. When I do that, it gives me negative 13 A. Now I have A's right here. My board's a little off, so I'm missing the cross a little bit. To get rid of times negative 13, I need to divide by negative 13. That gives me a final answer of 1. So my answer for this one should be B. I'm going to check to see that it is really quickly just to make sure I give you the right answers. That'd be a little weird. Yes, it is. So just follow the steps. You've been doing them forever. If you forgot them, there's videos on that too. Um, the next one I'm going to look at is number five. Not a huge problem, you know, whatever. It does have all real numbers on the answer choices. So that should um, prep your mind to the idea that it's possible that we are going to get rid of that variable term. But don't always pick all real numbers or no solution, because it is rarely the case. And I say that, and then I'm going to do this one, and it, uh, spoiler alert, it is going to be the case. But, you know, in most cases, it's not. So don't live in the idea that if it exists as a choice, that you should always choose it, because that is certainly not true. Rewrite the problem out a little bit over here. First step, of course, is to draw the line. Then I would do baby goes bathroom, but there isn't any, so I'm going to clean my room, combining like terms. Here is a K. Here is a K. This is supposed to be a 1K, and you may need to write that if you forgot. So 7 minus 1 is 6K. Bring everything down. Then I'm going to do pork chops and applesauce, where I'm going to eliminate the variable term on the right side. So to get rid of plus 6K, I need to move, do minus 6K, which... These eliminate 6 minus 6k on the left side here. Those cancel out as well because it'd be 0k, which you can't have 0k. So bring this down. Make that comparison statement right there. It's either going to be a no solution or an identity question. And all real numbers, by the way, is a choice, means identity. So I'm going to pick A here as the choice. 
And then um, I'm going to just check to see that I got the answer right. All real numbers. Perfect. Uh, the next one I need to do is number 18. Number 18, I'm going to try to jump to really fast. There it is. Not a really difficult question. And then I, I jump there and then I move. That made no sense. So um, not a really difficult question. It just might be something that you forgot. So I thought I'd throw it in here. Plus, I wanted to do seven for some reason, and I only had six. Draw your line. Now, in this case, the entire bottom is divided by 10. I'm trying to get this b minus 5 down below, so I need to eliminate divide by 10. So I multiply by 10. These cancel. This whole top section comes down. And then you get negative 2 times 10, which is negative 20. I uh, get b by itself. I need to add 5 to both sides. b equals negative 15. And I can check to see if that's a correct answer really quickly. And it should be um, h. There it is. No problem. Number 20. Number 20. I thought there was some other component to it, but it's just number 20. In this question, they're not asking you to solve anything. There's no equal sign here. So all we're doing is combining like terms. And I decided that I hate that blue. Kind of like this aqua, OK? Or teal. This is a little light for teal, isn't it? So I'm going to do the baby goes bathroom step. I'm going to do negative 5 times negative 1 gives you plus 5, plus 9. Then I need to combine like terms. So when I have this set, that would be my, ca uh, my variable term. The other two numbers, like shirts and skins, this would be the team without shirts. So I'm going to add 5 and 9, and give me 14. Negative 15k plus 14. So it should be j. That shouldn't be any huge problem to deal with. Let me make sure I got that one right, because if I miss it and you're watching this video to try to prepare for your test, that's a little annoying. Oh, and see, I did miss it because I'm an idiot. This says plus four, right? Don't be stupid like me when you take your test. Pick the right one. So make sure you get the right answer and it matches. I had the right the math done correctly, and then I picked the wrong answer. Some of you may be able to relate. Uh, the next one I need to do is number 25. And then there's only two more after that. This one's kind of long. I think the last ones are kind of long. This one's actually kind of short. Uh, this is a number cubed. We haven't really talked about that term before. When I talk about a cube as a uh, shape, it's a three-dimensional box. So this is in 3D. What that means, essentially, when I have a number cubed, it means it raises it to the third power. So it's my dimension to the third power. So in this case, a number is a variable, and the number that I have is n. So I'm going to raise it to the third power, and then it says the word is. Is is an equal statement. So the answer is j. We haven't really done that much. I Actually, I think I was supposed to do number 20 five there, but I like 24 better. We haven't talked about that term before, so that's actually a good thing. Uh, now for the next one, we're going to do number 27. Right here. This is just a simple substitution problem. I mean, I know you're freshmen, but still. All we have to do is plug things in as they're done and then just type them in. So Z would be 5 plus 3 minus parentheses 5 plus 1. And all I'm doing is plugging in their values. So I do 5 plus 3 minus 6, because 5 plus 1 is 6. And from here, I'm going to do 5 plus 3, which is 8, minus 6 gives me 2. So my answer should be C, but I did it without calculator in my hand, so it's possible that I totally messed this one up. So that'd be kind of wonky, like I did before, right? Nope, I got this one correct. Una mas, senores y senoritas. Number 32. This is one of those long ones. And you'll notice that it has both zero and all real numbers as possible solutions. So this could be, this can give you a fit, I guess. It shouldn't. You guys have been very smart about these. So here's what we're going to do. We're just going to follow what we already know. Draw the line. Uh, do baby goes bathroom. So negative 8 times negative 8 is negative 64. There's a V there. Negative 8 times 2 is 16, so it's minus 16. Negative 2 times v, which you should know, that's a 1v, right? So negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, so negative 2v. Then do negative 2 times 
8. So you get a negative 2 times 4, which is negative 8. Uh, now I need to combine like terms. I've got a v term and a v term here. So I think I'm going to turn this into negative 64 v. Then I've got negative 16 minus 8. So that would be negative 24. Here's my variable term, so I need to do parties over here. These cancel. Negative 24 plus 24 is 0. I'm not done yet. And by the way, just because you see a 0 in the middle of the problem does not mean that it's all real numbers. Because in this case, the v is still right here. So we still have a variable term, so this is not all real numbers. I'm going to divide by negative 64 to get rid of that times. So v is equal to 0. Don't fear the 0, people. In fact, this review has a bunch of zeros, I think. So the answer should be G. So if you get an answer that the variable terms eliminate, then you're dealing with an all real numbers. If you have a truth statement, if the numbers are equal to each other. If it's a lie, it's no solution. Or all real numbers is the same as identity, by the way. And so if you have a V equals zero, don't be afraid. The answer could be zero. If you plug in zero into this equation, it will give you one side equal negative 24 and the other side equal neg negative 24. And that's the only time that would really make one side equal to the other. So zero is the answer, not all real numbers. But I think you've done it enough times where you should be pretty comfortable with it. Take your time on the test. Um, if you don't finish them all, as long as you've been working the whole time and not you know, joking around or doing nothing, then I'll probably give you full credit if you get to like 30 out of 50 or whatever. As long as you get far enough to where I feel like you worked hard, I'll still give you the credit for it. So good luck tomorrow. Study a little bit more. Do a few more problems, and I think everything will be pretty good for you.